feels like I haven't vlogged in ages. Well, I've not really vlogged for about a month. I can't get it done. But to you lot, you saw me about a day ago or two days ago. But I've not actually vlogged since since Edinburgh, have I? Or, well, mm, no, since she had her first swimming class. So yeah, I meant to start this vlog hours ago when we left this morning but that didn't happen it was a bit of a rush we had to leave the house by uh nine o'clock because i had a call with a sleep specialist yes, yes. <laughs> i had a call with a sleep specialist uh we have got to the point where her sleep is just ridiculous it's getting worse i didn't think it could get worse and it's just getting worse and worse and worse as you can probably tell by this disheveled look that i've got going on i'm just yeah i've had enough we're getting a sleep expert in i had a phone consultation with her this morning so i thought before her baby massage class which is now even earlier because she's gone up a group it's at 10 now so i thought oh it's okay i'll leave just before nine get her to sleep in the pram then i can have a phone call in you know quiet but of course she didn't go to sleep, so we had to make an emergency pit stop in prep. Luckily, she just played nicely in her pram whilst I spoke to the lady. And the lady sounds really lovely, and she sounds like she really knows what she's doing, and she's gonna, gonna really help us out, isn't she? Delilah's probably grown up so much since you last saw her, because, because like I said, it's actually been quite a long time since I've vlogged. The reason I didn't vlog for so long is because I was getting such a backlog of videos, and that's why the New Year's Eve vlog went up um, at the end of January yeah this has been a really really hard month i'm not gonna lie i've been quite miserable feeling good this week she has become so much easier she is such a happy little bunny at the moment <laughs> yeah yeah so i'm feeling a lot better just have to excuse the appearance for this vlog I, I we literally had half an hour to leave the house this morning which is why i just i looked like this just had a delivery of some of delilah's new clothes if you want to see more of her stuff then you'll just have to wait until I film her baby clothing haul and put it up on my other channel. I managed to film a video at the weekend which felt so good. So I've got a what's in my changing bag video going up this week. And then this weekend I'm going to film her baby clothing haul. Because I didn't get to do that with her last lot of stuff. But I will give you guys a sneak preview of a few bits that came from Zara today. Yeah, she has probably grown up so much since the last time we saw her in a vlog. She's completely sitting by herself now. Um, I just can't leave her to sit by herself only because she doesn't she doesn't crawl yet and she can't she can't sit herself up from laying down. So until she can do that, I don't feel comfortable leaving her. Shall we see what you've got? Oh, it's pink. We already have a few bits from Baby Zara, but I ordered a few more bits as well. Um because uh the first top, which is this one, I love this so much on her that i wanted to get it for her in the next size up so this is nine to twelve months she will probably fit in this in about a month because the other one's actually quite snug on her um, and then because i liked this one so much it's uh it's part of their organic cotton range and it's so soft and it's really cute i don't usually like cartoons and stuff but there are some that are an exception like what she's got on today she's got raccoons on her dungarees you got raccoons on your dungarees do you want a different toy to play with do you want this one <laughs> it's her favourite one. So I also got the same top but with a raccoon on the front. She's got lots of raccoon things for some reason at the moment. If oh. mummy will hurry up, you're getting frustrated. She's not slept all morning. She got up at half seven. Hasn't slept all day. Yeah. So we're going to go out again, aren't we? So you can sleep. I need to get a few bits for dinner. So we're going to go out again. Hope she falls asleep in the pram. And um, and yeah, get some dinner bits, aren't we? We've also just had the health visitor come round because I wanted to talk to her about just feeling a bit rough uh, lately. But actually, it's funny. I feel I feel fine now. Let's get you out. I feel okay now, mood wise. I think it's because she's got a lot easier, apart from the sleep thing. And I think once we crack the sleep thing, um, all will be all will be dandy. But um, it was nice to talk to her about it. What are you doing for Bob? Oh my goodness, Daisy. Look, what else do we have? <laughs> Get off the tissue! She grabs absolutely everything. Don't eat! Oh my gosh! No, 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 no. We've got a lovely pink cardi. Because I remembered as well, I thought, oh god, she's going to grow out of her cardigans too. We got 
this cute little pink cardi. Got these pink leggings. Oh my gosh, they're huge. No way are you going to be this long. Oh, she has this again in... Do you like them? She has them again in six to nine months. Um, and they go really sweet with um, those t-shirts. And she was wearing the outfit the other day and I thought, oh, it's such a lovely outfit. And these leggings are so lovely and soft and just a really nice colour that um, I just wanted to get them again, but in the next size up. And they're only 5 99 And then we got some more leggings. I wasn't gonna get these at first, but because they were part of the organic cotton range and those tops are so lovely and soft, I thought, no, I'm gonna get these. And these are in six to nine months. Ooh, they're nice. And they're a little bit silly. They are white leggings with bunnies on the legs. We are a little bit grumpy now. Look at your pop pop. Look at your pop 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 She smiles all the time now. It's so sweet. But yes, should we head out? Because I was going to give her a little bit of food. Yes, mummy's vlogging again. Mummy looks horrific today. <laughs> but yeah, I was going to give her a bit of food before we go out. I'll give her a bit of, um, I'll, I'll, I'll breastfeed her before we go out, but I was going to give her some food food because yes, um, she, we are now in um, almost a month into weaning, if you want to call it that. Um, she's just been having lots of different um, purees just to sort of get a taste of food. She's not really been eating loads though. Just once a day, we'll give her something different to eat or smush everywhere. <laughs> so I was going to give her a little something now, but I think she's far too tired and agitated. So I might just give her give her a breastfeed and then we're gonna head out. Look how much her hair's grown as well. Like her hair's really starting to grow now. She's got a really long bit at the front. It's still fluffy though, isn't it? It's still fluffy. This one is obsessed with labels at the moment. It's so cute. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Should we turn you in off? There we go. I'm afraid, my lovely, we're gonna have to get you in your snowsuit, which I know you don't like. I know you don't like, but it keeps you nice and warm. Oh, don't hit yourself, it's not that bad. <laughs> We're going to have a nice little sleep in the pram, aren't we? We're going to have a nice little sleep. <laughs> Can you say hello to everyone? My goodness, you're holding the camera very well. Mmm, is that an... Oh, there you go. You're kind of vlogging. You're kind of vlogging. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Okay. There we go. <laughs> I know. Oh dear. Put your foot in. Oh, oh, stop. Oh, it's not the end of the world. Oh dear. Oh dear. Come on. The older she gets, the more of a struggle that is. Have you not got used to getting into your coats in your snowsuit yet? You'd think, wouldn't you? <laughs> You'd think. until turn the bath the kitchen light off we will have this until we get in the lift and go outside and then as soon as we hit the fresh air she will be fast asleep i need to get some bits for dinner picked up most of the extra bits that we need for dinner tonight. I've got onions, some more mushrooms, parmesan and some herbs. We now need some pappadel or pappadelli or whatever the pasta's called. So we need some of this pasta. And if it's 
buy one get one half price we might as well get a couple I now don't have anything else I need to do so I've kind of just got to mill around for a bit so she sleeps and I, c I don't know whether to risk going in to get a drink somewhere because she might wake up and I just want her to have a good sleep because she's not slept all day and it is just gone three o'clock so um, yeah I have to do this every day hence why I'm getting someone in to help with her sleep because I've tried everything so this is the only way to get her to sleep is to push her around in the pram during the day so I spend most of my days just walking around aimlessly back home obviously I'm hiding out in the bedroom because Delilah's still asleep I feel like I'm forever talking about her sleep sorry I'm trying to be quiet because I really don't want her to wake up I know people say be loud around her blah 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 but some people are just deeper deeper sleepers deeper sleepers deeper sleepers than others and Delilah as much noise as we make around her she's just always not been able to sleep through it that's just her she's probably just like her mum because I'm quite a light sleeper and I can't like once I'm asleep I'm asleep but a lot of the time the littlest of things will wake me up so she's obviously just like her mum it's half past four now so she can sleep until about five any later and then we're risking her not going to sleep very well at bedtime and but because she's asleep I am going to crack on with some editing whilst I've got the time because I mean that's what is my deodorant doing here? Oh yeah, I want to, it's empty, I need to throw it in the bin. That's why I've not really uploaded much um, over the last month or filmed much as well because I'm um, a bit miserable due to just general not feeling very great but also the lack of sleep is just really getting to me and um, beginning of Vlogmas, her sleep was okay, it was bearable, not great, but bearable and then as December went on, as you guys know, if you've watched the vlogs it got worse and worse and then throughout January her sleep has just hit rock bottom it's just it's so bad and um I've just struggled I've she like you guys know she doesn't nap at home in the day I'm not getting any sleep at night so I've just not had any time to edit that's why I've kind of been gone for a little while um but I'm getting back on top of things I filmed some stuff for my main channel at the weekend family have been great help looking after her we've got this sleep expert coming in next monday and i've been speaking to a really lovely child minder who can hopefully have delilah once a week so i can have a definite day dedicated to editing i feel like i'm finally getting every sort of piece of my life organized and starting to get a nice balance so yeah i'm gonna stop chatting now because i should actually get on with some work before delilah wakes up video edited which means I get that up tonight and then this video I can get up tomorrow and then it's going to be the start of me vlogging every other day in February because of Delilah's sleep and um, her just really giving me no time of day to edit I'm not going to commit to doing vlogs every day once we sort her sleep out fingers crossed I should be able to vlog every day I don't know what to call them shall I call them just Feb vlogs because last time I called them vlogs, as in like F-L-O-G, people kept saying, oh, you spelt vlog wrong. So I don't want to call it that again. So I might just call it Feb vlog. Whilst Doug and Delilah have some daddy-daughter time before bed, I am going to make a start on tonight's dinner. I'm feeling a little bit funny because I haven't eaten enough today. I having to leave the house so early this morning and not having breakfast kind of threw me off a little bit. I've become addicted to having avocado on toast and vine tomatoes every morning oh it's so tasty i love it i'm not getting bored of it it's so tasty and um this month i've been trying to be a little bit healthier because since i had delilah i've basically just lived on junk food i mean i've always enjoyed my junk food but it's been really bad um the past six months i've been having packs of biscuits for breakfast crap for lunch like just awful and it's not gonna make me feel any better i'm not saying it's a new year's resolution because um i don't make new year resolutions i just think if you want to commit to something or do something just do it in the moment you don't need to wait until the new year mine just happens to kind of coincide with new year but yeah i've said to myself right from now on i'm gonna try my best to eat a little bit better i've been having proper breakfasts 
for the first time in months which has been really nice and um, I find that when I get to the late morning early afternoon I still feel good rather than having like a huge crash because I've had a whole pack of biscuits. I've also been making more of an effort to have less ready meals and rubbish and actually make uh, my own food from scratch which is why I got those um, those foodie magazines the other day. Where am I going with this? You can tell um, I'm tired and I've not had much to eat and I'm feeling a bit shaky because I don't know where my train of thought is going. There are a few recipes that I have been loving making um, this month and uh, I thought I'd share one of them with you because I always get asked to share recipes. Uh, you guys seem to like my cooking type videos. Tonight I am making probably my favourite pasta dish I've ever made. It actually, like it tastes like something you would eat in a restaurant. I love it, it's really good. When you first make it, it seems quite faffy and complicated to make, but actually it's not that bad to make at all. And the more you make it, the easier it is. I got the recipe out of this magazine and it is this pasta here. The recipe is here, so if you want to screenshot now, sorry, this kitchen's very shadowy. Um, um, God, it's not very helpful, is it? They're the ingredients. And then this is the instructions. So if you want to screenshot this, and then screenshot this bit as well so then you've got the instructions and the ingredients in case i miss bits out so all i need to do now is get started i'm gonna make the sauce now and then we'll give delilah her bath and i'll put her to bed and then we'll have dinner after um delilah's asleep i have all my ingredients roughly chopped up ready to pop in my swanky new food processor i got this at christmas and oh my goodness i love it it has been used pretty much every day since i got it it's uh the mini plus by magi mix uh, i will i'll try and find a link for it if you want to go check it out if you're interested if you're lame like me you're excited about food processors so i'm going to be using this tonight but i guess if you don't have a food processor you could try and cut everything up as little as possible but obviously that would just take more time if you just want to make a portion for yourself obviously half the recipe i've doubled the recipe because i want to make eight portions and not four portions because with the other six portions i'm going to divide it into three and pop them into these really handy soup and sauce bags that i found in lakeland and all i'm going to do is pop the vegetables into the food processor pulse them until they are chopped really finely i probably won't be able to do all of them in one go so we'll see how this goes i might have to do it in two lots in a nice big pan i've popped some oil and then once the oil's heated up i'm going to then pop the blended mixture into there blend up the onions as well because i didn't have room for those and then in go the onions realize i picked up sage and not bay leaves bugger it <laughs> um i'm hoping it doesn't make much of a difference i'm probably not going to put these in and i just hope that it still tastes just as good i'm going to be lazy and just pop in dried thyme and then let that cook on medium heat for about 10 minutes who's at the door is that cheeky and this everyone is why i always make sure i wash my mushrooms because look how much dirt has come off of them and once again i'm going to do exactly what i did with the other vegetables pop them in the food processor blend them up until they're finely chopped and then pop them in here gonna mix the mushrooms into the vegetables if you don't like mushroom i swear you will probably like this because you can't even tell there's mushroom in it so now i need some lentils which are here i'm using these pie is it pie lentils i feel like that's not how you pronounce it but these are the lentils that i'm using and i need 200 grams of them but if you're making less than 
you only want 100 grams or 50 grams if you're only making two portions. Add those. Then I need some vegetable stock. I'm doing two of these jugs because oh, I'm making a lot. Also need some tomato puree. And yes, I've gone a little bit crazy with the freezing. I have some frozen tomato puree here because usually I open a jar, use one tablespoon and then have to throw the jar away. So I decided to freeze uh, the tomato puree so I don't end up wasting stuff. Okay, I'm popping two in and hoping that's the equivalent of two tablespoon and lastly i need chopped tomatoes the recipe says use plum tomatoes but yeah i don't think it really matters i've added some salt and pepper i'm gonna stir that all together and then just leave that to cook for 30 minutes and it says to stir occasionally but i'm gonna pop delilah to bed now so i would have to leave doug in charge of making sure he stares and checks up on it. Gosh, this is a big batch. I hope this turns out just as nice as the last time I made it. Pop the lid on and reduce the heat and let it do its thing. I've just put this new battery in and this is telling me it also has no juice. So I'm gonna be quick. I'm just finishing up the dinner. Pasta sauce is done. Pasta is on and I'm just about to drain it. I'm just gonna add this now to the pasta. Well, it's stripes galore over here. <laughs> stripes, stripes. And there we go. I've just drowned mine in parmesan. Dinner was really tasty. I still need to pop the pasta sauce into uh, the freezer bags. I'm gonna do that now. So I'm gonna quickly pop the sauce into these, pop them into the freezer. I'm gonna go to bed now. Today was just a little vlog to kind of dip my toes back into the vlogging waters. It felt like I hadn't actually vlogged for ages. I feel like you guys haven't really seen Delilah that much today. We had some really cute cuddles before she had um, her bath and went to bed, but I just didn't film anything because um, I was busy kind of making dinner at the same time. In February, I'm going to vlog every other day. Hope you'll join me and enjoy watching. I'm going to go to sleep, hopefully. Um, let's see how much sleep I get tonight. Let's hope she doesn't wake up every 10 minutes. That's just too much. I mean, every hour is, is enough. Every 10 minutes. No, no. No. Anyway, anyway I'm going to stop blabbing now because this is eating into my bedtime. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I will see you soon. Bye.